Hey guys, in this video, I'm introducing a new carpet shampoo that's perfect for professionals and hobbyists alike, and talking about why this might be really the only thing you need rather than purchasing a bunch of stuff that I actually talk about on the channel. Now, I want to go ahead and start introducing this and share with you what I'm going to do. So this product is from a company called Superior Products, and it's called Zap It. Technically speaking, we might categorize this as an all-purpose cleaner, but it is particularly good for stain removal and carpet shampoo. First of all, I am going to be dealing with this Highlander mat. This is the trunk mat. It's a tan carpet, so this is perfect for this video because like everybody already knows, tan carpets get the dirtiest for obvious reasons. So check out the before here. I want you guys to see some of the more prominent stains on the bottom half of this particular carpet because the top half of this carpet is actually pretty clean already. So we're only going to be cleaning the bottom half for the sake of this video to see if we can get that bottom half to kind of match the top half in terms of its cleanliness. Why am I even talking about this considering all the other products I have? It's because this product is so effective, very industrial grade in my opinion, and it's available retail at different retailers like O'Reilly's. I pulled it off the shelf just the other day. Now I'm going to be using a carpet shampooing technique that I don't show a lot on this channel. Here's what it is. But before we get into that, guys, if you are not yet registered for the live free training I'm hosting on September 15th, the link is in the YouTube description box below. I'm going to be sharing with you guys the exact step-by-step -step process to building your detailing business to five grand a month on autopilot with maintenance clients. That means recurring revenue every month, not searching for new customers, not buying a big garage or a big mobile unit, and not wasting money on paid ads, business cards, flyers, all that sort of stuff. The link to register is in the YouTube description box below. Like I said, put your email in, you'll get a confirmation link. And I do this very rarely, so make sure if you want to register now, because the spots fill up really quickly. It's been over a year and a half since I last did this. Now let's go ahead and get back into the video. The first thing I want to do is address the stains. Before I take care of the entire bottom half of the carpet, let's just address the things that need the most attention. So I'm spraying obviously a little bit of this product on top of those stains directly, and I'm going to let it dwell for 10 to 15 seconds. That's important to understand that I am doing very light applications when I'm addressing certain stains like this. I'm not soaking anything at all. Then I'm going to take my microfiber towel and as simply as you can imagine, wipe it up, right? I'm scrubbing very lightly, not putting in any elbow grease. And the reason I approach it this way is because it really is going to tell me how effective a carpet cleaner like this is. I don't want to take any tools, no steamers, no extractors, not even a toothbrush to see if I can just use the product in the microfiber towel itself. And I want to show you guys a real quick after of taking care of those stains in particular. You can see both of those stains were taken care of really, really quickly. So question number one, does this work as at least an above average stain or spot specific remover and cleaner check absolutely yes it does now let's go ahead and get a little more intense with the entire bottom half of this I'm gonna do the same approach here in terms of my light applications I'm spraying very little amount of this product on the entire bottom half of the tan floor mat that's in the trunk here I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 to 15 seconds then I want you guys to see what I'm doing with my steamer I'm gonna simply wrap a once folded over microfiber towel onto the head of my nylon bristle brush steamer head I'm gonna clip it on there so I don't have to use my hands and then I'm gonna start to address this carpet in a method I call a dry shampoo method. I've got a light mist of this product on the bottom half. I'm then scrubbing back and forth, forward to back, and side to side with my steamer head and that microfiber towel attached. As I introduce the heat, obviously it makes the product a bit more effective, breaks up stains a little bit more, and as I introduce the microfiber towel, I am essentially mopping up the product and the steam every time I pass over the carpet. A dry shampoo method like this is really, really effective when you have a really good cleaner and a carpet carpet that's not too far gone, but it does need to be restored back to that original, let's call it light tan or light gray color. I'm not trying to blast this with my pressure washer or an extractor, but I do want it to be restored to what the top half looks like because the bottom half obviously has been getting the brunt of the dirt. So I am doing this dry shampoo method. This particular method is really effective, by the way, anytime you're in a situation like this, or if you're just trying to shampoo quickly and kind of wrap two steps into one in terms of the mopping up, the steaming, the chemically cleaning, you can put it all in one and it becomes really effective. Now after that, I'm going to wipe it up really quickly, one pass with a dry new microfiber towel, just to pick up any excess that might be left so that we can get a clear after result here. Now as we pan over the carpet in this after result, you guys can see that by and large, really, this looks exactly the same as the top now. And what we did more than anything is, of course, number one, address those stains. But number two, often with carpet like this, you don't even realize that the carpet is dirty unless there's some sort of difference in one piece of the carpet like this. You can see the top is clean, the bottom is dirty. If the top looked like the bottom, it would probably probably look like the carpet is relatively clean. What we see here is, of course, when we restore it with this dry shampoo method and the Zap It Carpet Cleaner, you've got this really awesome, let's call it a bright appearance from that light gray original color. Now, I want to put this carpet shampoo in another situation that's a bit more serious because, yes, a dry shampoo method is cool to look at, and it can be really efficient for mobile detailers who are trying to do things pretty quickly. So if you have a chemical like this that can be used in a dry shampoo method that is effective, it's really, really awesome. But I want to see, can it work in these really nasty situations? So I'm going to take the driver 
side floor mat that is black and hides dirt pretty well, but it's also matted down. You guys can see the staining, the discoloration. The discoloration and of course the matting down of the fibers is not going to be fixed here, but I want to see how effectively can we remove dirt with this chemical in a really nasty situation. So I am going to soak the carpet unlike what I did with the dry shampoo method. It's a very different approach. I'm going to spray as much as I possibly can that I think is reasonable on this carpet. And then I'm going to actually rinse it with my hose very quickly in the beginning. Not because I'm trying to push the shampoo out of the carpet, but I want to add some water and some lubricity here to allow that overloaded chemical in the carpet to move around a bit. Take my steamer with the nylon bristle brush, no microfiber towel. I want those bristles to actually attack the carpet fibers here. Blast full steam, front to back, side to side. Let the steam start to work. I'm trying to stir up the dirt. And after I think that dirt is sufficiently stirred up, I'm going to take my pressure washer and I'm just going to start to blast as much of that carpet shampoo and water and dirt ultimately out of the mat as possible. You guys can see there is a ton of suds, tons of soapy dirtiness being washed out of the fibers. This is what I would call like the opposite of a dry shampoo method. When you're dealing with things that need to just kind of be replaced, but they're not going to be replaced, this is something that can bring them back at least as far as they can come back. Now, after I've gone ahead and blasted all of it out, I'm going to take my little Bissell Spot Pro extractor rather than breaking out my Mighty or a bigger machine that's a little bit heavier to break out. I'm just going to be pulling the leftover water out of the carpet. So I like to use a little machine that's just easier for me to deal with because all I need is the suction power anyways. I'm going to go back and forth over the mat, making sure that I'm pulling the extractor head across the fibers from different angles to make sure that I get all of the water out. And now I want you guys to see the after result here. Like I said, of course, the matted down area is not going to change. And some of that discoloration from like bleaching from the sun is not going to change. But you can see it looks far, far cleaner and a mat that needs to be replaced using this particular cleaner comes out really looking good. Now guys, the main reason I talk about this product in the first place is just because it's so powerful and it works so well in so many different applications, but particularly it's available retail. And to be totally honest with you guys, I like having a certain array of products that I know are available retail in case I ever need them last minute. So as always, I will hook up this product in the YouTube description box below if you just wanna check it out online, or if you just took an oath to only buy anything online, the link will be below in the YouTube description box, as well as the steamer or the extractor that I use in this video. Make sure if you guys are interested in building your business to five grand a month on autopilot through maintenance clients and really getting my exact system to doing that that I've built over the last 10 years. Go below in the YouTube description box, click the link to register for the live free training I'm hosting on September 15th at 6 p.m. Pacific time as the date gets closer. Cannot wait to see you guys inside and as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I'll see you in the next video.